Hello and welcome to my NLP Mastery Series. This is Joseph Simitsen. I am content creator and instructor at Clarusway. In this video, I am going to show you what are the pre-trained embeddings and which ones are most used in natural language processing. Okay. How do we make machines understand text data? We know that machines are supremely adept at dealing with and work with numerical data, but they become sputtering instruments if we need raw text data to them. And how do we make the machines understand the text? Have you ever seen about that? The idea is to create a representation of words that capture their meanings, semantic relationships, and the different types of contexts they are used in. That's what word embeddings or the numerical representation of a text. Yes, actually I find the concept of embeddings to be one of the most fascinating ideas in machine learning. If you ever used Siri, Google Assistant, Alexa, Google Translate, or even smartphone keyboard with next word prediction, then chances or you've been benefited from this idea that has become central to natural language processing models. There has been quite a development over the last couple of decades in using embeddings for neural models. Yes, actually, embeddings represent a word. For example, if we have any word, apple, for example, and the representation of the apple composed of some numerical data. This is the representation and the dimension of this data can be 150 and more than 300 and even more than a thousand numerical data. Yes, this representation it's called word embeddings. And in this video, I'm going to introduce the basics of the pre-trained, the most used pre-trained word embeddings here. I will not go deep and detail of the logic behind the word embeddings. Okay, just get familiar with these word embeddings uh, in the market. And the Glove, you can see, embeddings, ELMO embeddings, birth, universal sentence and encoders. And additionally, I'm going to show you the fast text, which is created by Facebook embeddings. OK, if you pay attention to the dimension of these embeddings, you can see that these are the length of the vectors represents, for example, ELMO has 512 and the bird 768. Okay, these are the length of the vector. So let's take a look at these embeddings one by one. And before this, let me explain something here. The uh, pre trained word embeddings or the embeddings learn in one task that are used for solving another similar task. Yes, these embeddings are trained on large data sets, saved, and then used for solving other tasks. That's why pre-trained word embeddings are a form of transfer learning. Yes, this is very important. And transfer learning is become a part of our IT life in data science. Transfer learning, as the name suggests, is about transferring the learnings of one task to another. Learnings could be either weights or embeddings. In our case here, learnings are the embeddings. Hence, 
This concept is known as pre-trained word embeddings. And in the case of weights, the concept is known as pre-trained model. And why do we need pre-trained word embeddings? I mean, these are pre-trained word embeddings and we can use all of these in our task, in our NLP projects. They're, they're very useful. So the pre-trained word embeddings capture the semantic and syntactic meaning of a word as they are trained on large data sets. They are capable of boosting the performance of a natural language processing model. These word embeddings come in handy during uh, any project, of course, in real world problems as well. So let's take a quick look at one by one these embeddings, the pre trained embeddings. If we click on Glove, as you can see, this pre trained model uh, created by Stanford University. Okay, and as you can see, there are some options, some uh, versions of the embeddings and the, the size of these embeddings, pre-trained embeddings model varies. As you can see, the 840 billion tokens are trained in this model. That's amazing. And Glow embeddings is different from the others because uh, this model trained by many languages. I mean, this is multilingual word embeddings. You can use even English or, uh, or the other languages as well, okay? Let's take a look at bird embeddings. This is uh, bi-directional encoder representations, which is created by Google. Okay, BERT is a method of pre-training language representation, uh, meaning that we train a general purpose language understanding model on a large text corpus like Wikipedia. And then we use that model for downstream NLP tasks that we care about. Yes, it's very amazing. And the basics and the logic of these embeddings is based on VertuVec. Okay. We are not going to go and uh, inside of this uh, logic, just get familiar with this and the existing, be aware of this embeddings, uh, the existence of these embeddings. Okay. And this is a birth embedding, which is used, mostly used in, in NLP tasks here. Okay. And the other pre-trained embeddings here, the universal sentence encoder, which means it is a sentence embeddings. Cool. Let's click on this. Yeah, the universal sentence encoder is deployed on TensorFlow Hub and very useful for our daily task and published by, of course, again, Google. The universal sentence encoder encodes text into high dimensional vectors that can be used for text classification, semantic similarity, clustering, and other natural language tasks. Okay. And the, the, it is different from the others uh, because these embeddings represent sentences. The other, or the other represents words and the universal sentence encoder represents sentences in our text. And because of that, we can use, uh, we can use these embeddings in the task of text classification and semantic similarities, something like that. Okay, let's go back and keep taking a look at, and this is Elmo, pre-trained embeddings, which is created by Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence. Yes, this is deep contextualized word representation that models 
about complex characteristics of the word use and how these uses vary across linguistic contexts. At this point, let me say something about the context aware. And ELMO and bird family embeddings are context aware, which means the representation for each word depends on the entire context in which it is used. And I'm going to show you how it works. Okay. So the last one is fast text, which is created by a fast book. So this is another pre-trained and the most used word embeddings, word vectors, and it consists of 157 languages. Okay, you can download it and you can use it in your NLP tasks. As you can see, we have on this page 157 languages pre trained word embeddings here. They, they trained it, save it, and we can use by downloading it. Very cool, right? In this video, we have learned the meaning and the basic concepts of pre-trained word embeddings, and we had a quick introduction to the most used pre-trained embeddings in natural language processing. See you at the next video. Goodbye.